What's up, guys, and welcome back to TGK TV. It's your boy TGK, and today I want to talk about the Minka Fitzpatrick or the Jalen Ramsey possible trades and why I think it could work. I think it could work. Let's get into it. All right, so I was just about to upload this video with talking about Minka Fitzpatrick and Jalen Ramsey, but apparently the Steelers got Minka, so now the rest of this video is just going to be solely talking about Jalen Ramsey. So whenever I mention Minka, just go straight to Jalen Ramsey. I think we should still take a chance. Now today I was on Facebook discussing with a few friends. They're very, very enlightened and very well educated when it comes to front office moves and, and, and the Dallas Cowboys. And I respect them a great deal. However, when it comes to potentially trading for those two players, Minka or Jalen, I feel like we should take a chance on them. Uh, wasn't necessarily alluding to the fact that we should spend a first, but there's a reason why I think we should exhaust the first. Now, let me get into this as to why, and I hope y'all bear with me and, and listen to my uh, realm of thinking, right? So last year when we traded for Amari Cooper, I was told that we traded for him because we needed a wide receiver and we were gonna spend that first on a wide receiver anyway. So with the notion of how that works, why can't we spend a first right now to get a first round caliber type of player. Now, the idea is that we have high aspirations, right? Our expectations are extremely high. So knowing that we're gonna end the season basically with one of the best records, we're not gonna have a high first round draft pick. We're gonna have towards the end of the first round. So if you were to tell me, hey, for your first round pick that you would pick at 31, you would get a Minka Fitzpatrick or Jalen Ramsey, which they would get drafted either within the first 11 picks. I would do it. Now, my friends that were on Facebook, they alluded to the whole money situation, how you want to keep getting cheaper players and whatnot. Not on a stand, all of that. But at the end of the day, I've been made aware of that we're all in this year. We are all in. We spent the money on all these players. We're all in. And I feel... I feel that there's a couple of reasons why I feel like we should take this chance. The defensive line isn't necessarily putting enough pressure on these teams. Uh, Eli Manning, uh, Case Keenum, they had pretty, uh, pretty good pockets. They got pressured here and there, but it wasn't like a consistent pressure like we've seen last year. And D-Law isn't looking necessarily like him, himself yet. Now, they could all change when Robert Quinn and if Randy Gregory gets uh, uh, reinstated back into the NFL and if DeMarcus Ward comes out of retirement to play for us, all of that could change but I don't want to I don't want to go with potentials and, and possibilities. I want to go with alright, we could get a player right now that helps the defensive line. Now it might not necessarily be a defensive line player. It might not be a DN or a nose tackle or a defensive tackle or a defensive end. Whatever the case may be it might not be that player but if you were to tell me we can have at least three shutdown corners and give the defensive line an extra second or two to go get the quarterback, I feel like that instantly helps our defensive line. Now, I understand those that don't want to spend a first round pick on these players. I agree with you. Maybe we could get them for a second or a third. We could play hardball, but there's going to be another team that will spend the first. Now, do you want to let the Patriots get a Minka or a Jalen? Or do you want to let the Eagles get a Minka or a Jalen? I feel like we need to take a chance and get one of these players because if we have Byron Jones, who we consider a shutdown corner, and either Ouzier or Jordan Lewis that we consider a shut... Oh, sorry, guys, my light died. But we'll, we're going to work with the technical difficulties as we go along. Now, back to what I was going at. If we're considering that we potentially have two shutdown corners right now on the team, whether it's Byron Jones or a toss-up between Ouzier and uh, Jordan Lewis, then specifically at the slot. I think one of those two can really shut down any slot. Now, say we add Jalen Ramsey to the equation. Now you have two outside corners that can shut it down, and then you have two really solid slot corners that can shut it down in the middle. That's going to give the defensive line extra time to go and get the quarterback and allow them to and give them extra time to go and make a defensive play. I think that instantly helps the defensive line. That's just my my... My thought process is, you know, I'm not I'm not saying I'm an expert at this. I'm not saying anything like that, like if I am trying to sound smart. You know, you can tell me about the nine technique, the X technique, the six nine technique. I don't know. I don't know. 
but I know a good player when you see one. And when you see Jalen Ramsey, he's probably one of the best corners in the game. Why not take a chance? When you see Minka Fitzpatrick, he's one of the best players at a DB in the game. Why not take a chance? All I'm saying is I think we should take a chance. Jerry Jones ain't got much time, as he said. And if we're all in for this year, then let's be all in and let's go get aggressive. And let's go get us one of those two players. Anyway, let me hear what you think in the comments below. I might be crazy, but it's been your boy TGK, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.